today I want to I want to make a test with a boost shared memory Q it is supposed to be good supposed to be fast but um, you know I have a hunch it might not be as good as we think so here I'm thinking I have a few I, I didn't find didn't find any uh, of the any of uh, performance tests so um, what I want to do is uh, actually create use the message queue we have this in boost.org 1.56 there are some examples how to create and how to how to push how to send and receive all right so basically what what I want to do is um, is use a non blocking non blocking API uh, non blocking calls so we we spin and uh, don't sleep that would uh, skew the numbers. I want to be as fast as possible. Let's uh, go ahead and and uh, create this directory. Um, boost message queue. Um, let's create a file. Um, message queue cpp. Um, let's include some of the necessary uh, files, vector, uh, and uh, the uh, actually boost uh, message queue. And uh, what else? Let's define a big number so we can copy. Let's put the boost uh, namespace boost into process so we don't have to be repeating this. Um, I need two functions that I use quite frequently. Those are the TSC and uh, some sort of a busy wait. Um, now I'm gonna have two two functions. One is uh, main one and the other main two so there will be two processes running uh, this is quite quite a boilerplate code main one else main two main two uh, process one I'm gonna push messages and uh, and process two I'm gonna uh, read messages. I have to define the messages now. So let's assume um, there is a time message where we're gonna have a tick and a checksum. It's just a counter. Alright. So this is my message that I'm gonna share between these two processes. So well, main one is process one. Let's begin with uh, try catch. Um, the process exception and uh, and printing out what uh, what this process is and and 
actually we don't even need this it just prints out um, second one we're gonna do the same um, because process one is gonna send process two is gonna receive but this process is pretty much the same In the try catch um, what I need to do here is actually uh, remove I have to me remove whatever message queue is left out there and here I have to create a message queue uh, let's put a thousand thousand slots um, right. um, this main tool what I'm gonna do is um, I have actually to open I have to actually open this message queue um, for that to happen um, I'm going to sleep this is not the best synchronization but it's the easiest and this one I'm going to remove create and then I was gonna, I'm going to sleep 12 two seconds this guarantees that this guy uh, process one is going to start remove and create a queue and while the process two is sleeping and then process, uh, process 2 is going to come up uh, hopefully this is just a test so we don't need to be um, very precise in here um, okay so then uh, process 1 I just create my message let's create a loop here um, uh, and, uh, and so I have a loop on i going from 0 to n um, here yeah, I, I set the counter to i and I do a loop reading the TSC counter while um, while I cannot send this message and that's it. Uh, once I send this message, I just wait uh, a certain number of, uh, I do a busy wait for, let's say, this is around um, this c computer is uh, 3 gigahertz, this is around uh, uh, 10 microseconds. Alright, so the sender is pretty much done. The the message in the, the interface is quite simple though. That uh, to that credit. Um, now we need uh, this is the message queue. What we need to do now is get the message, uh, create a message to be received. Uh, let's loop over the exactly same number of of uh, loops as the, the sender uh, and but here we are gonna receive uh, and we are using the non-blocking because um, we want we don't want to sleep so here the try receive has a, a pointer to the to the buffer size of the bus buffer this is the size I'm going to receive this is going to be filled and the priority um, I need to create a priority uh, priority is going to be the same for every message so it doesn't make quite of a difference at all so here I receive then uh, uh, I, cal I calculate the difference between uh, the current time different between and and the time in the message and, we, and here we assume that every uh, that the TSCs are uh, synchronized 
uh, across the CPUs, which is a fairly assumption to do. It didn't used to be the way this way a um, long time ago, but uh, uh, today pretty much all the even the AMD's and Intel's they they all they all um, they all have uh, the TSCs synchronized. So here I, I print if uh, the size if my size is different of uh, received uh, which should never happen should never happen right um, because I'm in a loop if this happens I, I just want to return I just want to get out of here message counter has to be equal to the counter that uh, in the loop otherwise we are getting messages out of order and I, I have message out of order um, this is the message counter Okay, so if it fails, I'll print it out, and and that's pretty much it. Other than this, uh, we can store, we can store, um, we can create um, a vector to store the differences of time. Uh, so we collect the data. Di is equal to diff. So we collect the data, and then later on, we can just uh, go to this vector, sort this vector. Dt begin, dt end. So I'm gonna sort this vector, uh, and then print out uh, the percentiles I'm uh, interested on. In. It's pretty much basically the minimum, the median, and, and the maximum. Okay. And um, I guess in the end I just need to remove the message queue. Message queue, that's the name I gave, yes. Okay. So, I think we have pretty much the code in there for this test. I'm um, pretty sure that that's what we need. Let's compile now with uh, O3. Um, Alright, test. Thank you. And, uh, um, we have to link against the, the real-time library, we have to link against pthread oh, sc okay, I forgot just uh, let's declare this variable sc okay it compiles. We have the test boost MQ compiled uh, in uh, with optimization three. So let's run and see how much. Uh, something went wrong.
<laughs> something went terribly wrong. Let's see what's in there. I think I did something wrong with the fork. Oh, <laughs> this main one. Alright, so now. Alright, so let's uh let's run again. Message out of order. Yeah, this is different. Now, I guess uh, now it is, what it's doing now is um, the process one is filling out the the buffer, is filling out the messages and uh, and process two is reading as fast as it can. Um, okay, so we have, Right. So uh, what it says here is that uh, the minimum, uh, the super process running, communicating through shared memory, the minimum latency between the two processes from the time you push the message from the time uh, the other process gets the message is a thousand and then uh, 1100 uh, cycles, which is about uh, 400 nanoseconds in this computer and this is the minimum minimum uh, minimum minimum of uh, all all the samples in average that would be 4000 cycles around let's say 1 uh, 1 1.2 microseconds which is very bad so um, uh, um, I shared uh, uh, shared queue implementation well uh, properly done wouldn't take more than uh, 20 30 nanoseconds to push the data in and here we have over um, a median of uh, four four thousand cycles or one microsecond is in my calculations this should be around a hundred times slower than uh, than uh, than what it should be. It, it's just uh, disappointing that Boost has such a, a low performance on uh, for for uh, Boost interprocess. It gives C++ a bad name. <laughs>